Hello, I am Agathis and I am online playing Sid Meier's Civilization 6 with the Rise and Fall expansion as Scotland! Welcome back to the playthrough. Uh, we are... In the last episode, we just had Scythia come and build a city here, which was a little bit disappointing. Because we quite like that location. Look at all that green grass, all those resources. We should have got that for ourselves. Never mind. Uh, I'm going to put this scout on auto-explore as soon as he's available. And let's see if we can find some other places to go and settle as the game continues. Um, I'm a little bit concerned about the AI setting up more cities. Maybe, maybe not here, but maybe here. Uh, they could maybe fit one in about here. But there's not much I can do about that. This city needs more amenities, so I'm going to send the builder to get that fish. We'll do that. We've got a trader going off to connect up Haddington. Um, I'm quite tempted to settle a little city here. Um, it's not going to be, it wouldn't be an amazing city, but it would help to blockade my new territory. Okay, we finished banking. What is next on the tree? Uh, square rigging. We need square rigging to get frigates. That's really important for us. Um, Reina is now established in here. That's good. What does she do again? She collects extra gold. And doubles bonuses for harbours. And helps to expand the city. Okay. So this city needs to expand, which is probably true. There's a lot of farmland around here that we could grab. That's fair enough. Probably going to need some more builders soon. Um, Saladin wants to give us dyes, but he's going to have to pay more for that. Um, Ten gold? One gold? No, I don't think so. Goodbye. Never mind. Is there anyone who does want to give us some luxuries? I, I've n I never really understood... Oh, I can't do this until it's my turn, of course. Um... I've never really been able to keep track of luxuries. If anybody knows a good way to really keep track of your luxuries. Let me know. Where's luxuries on here? See, cattle, copper, crabs, fish, sheep are not luxuries. Cocoa is a luxury. So why doesn't it say luxuries from here down or something? We're giving away cocoa? We're getting cocoa. That doesn't make sense. Uh, it really doesn't make sense to me. It's got three of three amenities. Right, so it needs more and it's blocked on housing. So. If I talk to Trajan. I've got four luxuries. Why isn't one of them going to air? Will you swap one for one? Will you swap one for some gold as well? Sure, let's see if that changes things. Now Aya... Now Aya has three of four. Right. But why wasn't it using the fourth one I already had? 
that's what gets me. That's what I don't understand about some of these. Okay. Let's get the pearls. That will help, I guess. Right. We're currently working on exploration. We haven't built any caravels. So that's not helping. What now? That one is done. What's Haddington working on? It's got four population, one, two, three, four, that's fine. When will it expand? Um, we'll expand in five turns. So I'm going to put this guy back. When is it going to expand in terms of tiles? Three turns down here. So we should be able to move down there and build another farm on that plains. On that. Ooh, Scythia is bringing a settler. I would like to block that settler. I hope she's not going to settle. Ooh. I hope she's not going to try and settle here. I'd be very upset. Three cities need housing. Okay. How do we deal with that? We need more builders to build more farms and things. You go to sleep for now. If she builds a city here, I am going to be royally cheesed off. I bet she is. I bet she's going to build that there. Let's talk to Scythia. Um, what are we? Sorry, just take that away. Scythia. Don't settle near me. Um, no. How do I request something? Let's have an embassy. Um, I can't ask her to do anything. Oh. Can I have an embassy here? No. Cyrus. Embassy? No. China. Embassy? Sure. Caesar? Oh, Trajan? Embassy? Yes. Um, Norway? Harold? No, apparently not. Victoria? Not that kind of mood. Embassy? Yeah. And Alexander. No. Why can't I ask Scythia Tomiris? Why can't I ask Tomiris not to settle? Bugger. Let's get started with the monument then. I really hope she doesn't settle there. She hasn't yet, okay. Hmm. Everywhere needs housing, sure, okay. Everywhere wants housing. Gonna need a load more builders. This is one turn away from the industrial zone being done, which is great. Not much I can do here. Can I talk to to Miris now? I can't. 
But we're friends, right? We're allied. Why can't we... Like, do something? Why can't we trade stuff? Alliance level one? Huh. Open borders defensive pact. Just hold there. Everyone needs housing. I don't know how I do that. I have to clear these marshlands basically and build proper farms on them. That's the answer. As as simple as it might seem, I need to just build build on those far those marshlands. Someone's facing a siege. Okay. Okay, library done. That's great. What I want is... Um, can I go and put a builder down there of my own? Is that worth it? That's the spot that you want to settle, though, ideally. Or even there. Oh, that's too close. One, two, three, four. No, that's too close. That would be okay. That would be really good. Mm, I reckon that's where she wants to settle. And I'm blocking her. Well, I'm happy to block her. <laughs> I'm happy just to block her. What do we need then? What do we need in the capital? <sighs> Intelligence agency? Hmm. Guildmaster's Chapel, that's all about faith. Foreign Ministry is all about city-states, of which we're not doing much. Maybe just a bank? Sure, let's get a bank. Well, actually, you know, let's wait to send out some more scouts. So let's buy scouts. Okay, that's done. Industrial zone is done. Let's build the workshop quick as we can. Save for Tarsus. We need to start churning out our navy as soon as we can. We need a couple more harbours. Roxburgh is population 7. Aberdeen is population 9. That's 7. Eleven. There is little man has made that approaches anything in nature, but a sailing ship does. Square rigging is done. That's great. We can then get on with what's good. Uh, maybe in dust. Mm. Kill a unit with a knight. Ballistics. I guess I'd like scientific theory. How do I get the Enlightenment Civic then? How far off is that? Oh, we've got it boosted. We just need humanism. And then we can get it. Okay. So we'll we'll do half of this until we've got the boost point. Got a scout. Go and scout out that patch. Let's have another one. These guys will presumably translate or promote into Highlanders a bit later on. Let's go and see if there's anything in this mass. Completed a trade route. We get some error score. Trade route. New continent discovered. Need more housing. The day we start Peace with Saladin. Exploration. Good. Um, we have unlocked Merchant Republic. Is that right? What did we just unlock? Merchant Republic, yes. So, we could change to... We're in Theocracy. 
which is no good to us really. We just wanted it for the cards. Let's go for Merchant Republic then. Extra gold, extra production towards districts, yes. We will keep unit maintenance. No, actually... Hold on a second. How many trade routes have we got? We've got four or five. Okay. So if I just take the trade routes out. I mean, we've got four trade routes, which is okay. I'm sure we can do better, though. Get scientist points. Ooh, no. All cities with a district retrieve housing and an amenity. That will help us immediately. Yes. We'll take um, gold from envoys, keep our gold production up, and let's let's do serfdom at least briefly. And what we'll do is because we've set that to gold production, we we'll just buy a couple of settlers here. Um, buy, sorry, builders. We buy one builder and we'll, build, build, we'll buy another one on the next turn. Now we can go for humanism, which is 16 turns. So, humanism and then enlightenment. Yep, that looks like the way to go. Then mercantilism and then we'll move on to the industrial era. We need to earn a great artist to boost humanism. How do we get a great artist? Not very easily, to be quite frank. One great artist per, per turn. Can we change that from writer? We could turn it to three. No, we can't. We don't have writer points. Uh, artist points. Interesting. There's no card for writer point for artist points yet. Buy it for gold or faith. Neither neither of which is going to happen. Okay. Okay, fine. We're just going to have to hard research humanism. Another scout. Let's have you over this way. Go and explore that and then explore this. And I'll have a bank to pay for these. Um, to pay for all these builders. I'm going to transfer this, set this one to Haddington help boost Haddington for a few turns. Ooh, the settler's left. I reckon I might buy a settler, actually. Okay, I might do that. And there's a governor trait that Magnus... Settlers trained in the city do not consume population. I want to get that. I want to promote Magnus and build a settler. So this trade route um, doesn't have many places to go, actually. I thought it would... Ah, because there's no harbour there. You can't do uh, a sea route. Of course. It's just going to get me gold. Well, that, gold is okay. But I can do better, I think, actually. Let's transfer it to Tarsus instead. Right, Builder. This city is on 7 of 8. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to turn this, into a, this marsh into a farm. And we'll buy another one. Can we buy anything with faith? No. 
Maybe we'll build one after this, once we've finished. Oops. Poland. I was supposed to do something with Poland and I pressed escape at the wrong time. Oops. Okay. She was obviously trying to offer me some sort of deal. I'll go back and see what I might want to trade with her. Maybe she wanted to buy my luxuries, of which I'm not giving her any. Sorry. Just out of curiosity. Did I buy that city? I'm just curious as to how much gold would be required to buy a city. Zorong. No. Would you sell any city? Okay. Would anybody sell a city? I mean, theoretically. Would Tamira sell a city? Population two? I mean, no, okay. Ooh, somebody stole a metal casting tech boost. In that case, I might need some spies soon. Right, Tarsus to where? Aberdeen? Sterling, I guess. Or for the science and the gold? Wow, that's a pretty good one for science and gold. And a little bit of production. Or Nindaros. Do I... Where is Nindaros? It's there by sea. Uh, let's take this one. Yeah, a little bit of production, gold and science and culture. Barbarian Scout up here. Would this be worth settling? Seriously? Pounds are a bonus resource, not a luxury. So you get... If I settled on there, I'd be able to put districts on here. I'd get food from the sea. Two crabs. No luxuries, that's the problem. Right, we are on Roxburgh. Um, let's build another... Builder. Six turns. This builder. Clear the marsh. That'll give growth, actually. Does it use a charge? I think it does. Yeah, it uses a charge. That's okay. Now it's up to nine, and now it is housing blocked. So I'm going to build a farm there, and that will help with that f that uh, housing. Then I need to go over here and do the same. He doesn't like me removing marshes. He's an environmentalist. Okay. Move this guy to here. Um, now, ooh. build a golf course for plus two gold, or a farm, which is plus one food and housing. That's a no-brainer. That's a... So that's the same tile, it's three food, but it's extra housing as well. And that food will get better now. So that's good for Roxburgh. We'll do the same here, and we'll do the same here. And just generally expand... He doesn't like the fact that there's barbarians near us. I don't know why. Roxburgh's still on nine housing. It needs another half a housing, which will be that one. Get ready to switch off scientific theory now. We'll go to industrialization. Who needs housing? A needs housing. 
Aberdeen needs housing, yeah, fair enough. So we'll go here. We do the same all over again. It's going to take a few turns. Scout, just tell me what's on this island. Has this expanded yet? It has. Okay. So the builder moves here. And then you can build a farm on the next turn there. That would be good. I am glad that I saved that space. Trajan would like to offer us... Um, I'll give you... I guess I can give you one olives. He'll give us that. Can you give us a bit more gold? I'm fine with that. Olives for... It's one for one and a little bit of gold. So, that's fine. We didn't have any... We must have used up our oranges. Everyone's still happy, right? Nobody still needs... Amenities, that's good. Aberdeen finished its workshop. What now? Ten turns for a settler. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm going to reassign Magnus. I know I need to promote him before that, that will work, right? Yeah. Okay, what can I build in Aberdeen for now? Cathedral, this is a faith building, Alhambra, faith building. But it does give amenities. Yeah. Hills next to an encampment. 27 turns, that's a bit niche. But I might take it. If I build that, let's build that on Alhambra, why not? Okay, clear the marsh. It's more population growth somewhere. Build a farm. So now we're working the farm. We need to get another builder soon because we're going to run out of... When we expand again in four turns, we're going to need another place to work. Okay. Um, scout, scout down here. We discovered Mahenjo Daro. Okay, they want. What do they want? Send a trade route. I reckon we can do that. This scout, just scout up there. And we need to scout down here. See if there's any more suitable locations. Some of these are really nice. Lots of people declaring peace. New envoy. We've got two, and we need the culture, so I'll put them both on Vilnius. Okay, uh, the farm, right? Roxborough. I want that one. So now you're still at eight. You're still at ten housing. Damn. Still at nine housing. How do we get more housing? I've I've built everything I can build really. How do I get more housing for you? Place farms, fishing boats, pastures, plantations, and camps. Well, okay. Okay, well, it's easier said than done, to be honest. Camps, pastures? No, not really. Um, 
See if we built a holy site. You would like to offer me diamonds in exchange for three of my luxuries? I don't think so. I'll give you one for one. No. Sorry. Not happening. I'll give you one for one because it doesn't really make any difference. As long as I get a little bit of gold as a the inconvenience of it. Haddington just finished its monument. So what it needs is a harbour. It also needs to work another tile somehow. Soon. I think I'll buy a tile and build this harbour. Because we need it. Eighty-two turns for the harbour, man. Okay. We need it for the trade routes and to be able to have ships and all sorts of stuff like that. Builder, uh, down here to this marsh. Uh, okay, let's have a look up here with this couch. Hmm, Chinese. Warrior Monk is just sitting there. Okay. Whatever. Norway is trading with China. Builder is done. Let's get on with... Um, do any of these make a, any housing? I don't think so. Um, workshop? Yes, workshop. Builder. Sending you over here. Just scout this out. Yeah, see, maybe this would be a city location. You'd get the wheat. Let's say you went here. You'd get the wheat, you'd get the rice. You'd get the pearls, so you've got a luxury. You get the extra yields around this tile. Um, where's yields? Yeah. Production. Food and uh, science. And these would be terrible. You put districts on those. But these wouldn't be bad. Again, not a great city, but, you know, it's a city. Oh, pearls there as well, if we settle here. Two pearls. And all those bonuses. It's not bad. Not amazing. Following where few have gone before, Scotland circumnavigates the globe. Plus three error score. That's pretty good. So what are we on? 66... We need 65 to make it a golden age. Okay, that's pretty cool. Let's keep going. I mean, oh, oh hell, hang on a second. Here we go. Here we go. Look at this. This is it. Maybe here. Next to a river, next to rice. Fish, two crabs, cattle, stone. There, right there. Sterling. When do we get our next um, promotion? Humanism, do we get a promotion?
Do we get a governor promotion here? I guess we don't. How do we know when we get a governor promo uh, governor promotion for free? Oh, that it's that icon there. Right. Build me an intelligence agency. So we get our government governor promotion. You bulldoze this. And build a proper farm there afterwards. I might start settling some of these northern locations. Okay, there's Oslo. That's nice to see. Let's just skirt around here. Explore this coastline, see what we can locate. Lisbon, that famous Norwegian city. <laughs> you want... You want my cotton? No thanks. Would you like a nighter? Oh, no, okay. I could give you nighter. Mm. Not so much. No. <gasps> Elizabeth doesn't like me because we have different governments. That's understandable. Pretty normal. Pretty normal. People are trading. People are in alliances. Don't build a golf course, build a farm. <coughs> now we're on 13 of 13, that's good. We need to find more farm locations as soon as we can. And we need a harbour built as soon as we can. Next. Just keep going up there, Mr. S Mr. S Scout. Okay, keep going. No place for us at Odin's table because my navy is weak. Ah, uh, you got me there. My navy is pretty poor. And that's, the, that's a wonder, isn't it? Renaissance era ends in eight turns. Okay. We've got eight turns to do stuff. Aya, buy this tile. It's expensive, but we really need the space. Go and scout out this coastline for me. Let's turn the yields off. I don't need them anymore. Golf course? Meh. Nah. Housing is better. That gives 6 of 12. 4 has got loads of housing now. Aya needs more. And, and fast. Saladin doesn't like me because... I don't know. Because I don't know. Fishing boats can be built there. Yes, let's build those for air after we've built this farm. Farm. Air. Nine of ten, thank goodness. Um, you. Can you come build this fishery that with uh, fishing boats? You keep going. Scout, you've done your job there. There's Sparda. Go and uh, scout out this bit for me then. Trade route plundered? Ouch! Well, Scythia is doing some manoeuvres here. That's funky. Haddington really needs more places to work now. Four characteristics of you. Okay, we got a great person. 
A great engineer. Culture bomb adjacent tiles when completing any industrial zone in any city. Okay, well, we should take him anyway because we're making 10 grand engineer points a turn and everyone else is on 2. I don't know where we're going to use it, but... Hmm. Oh, look at that. A new settlement in the middle of the desert. They're going to get that iron eventually. Well, let's take that engineer, I suppose. Do we just use his ability? Okay. <laughs> Nothing else we can do with this. Okay, we got one error score for that. We've got a great person. Can we get another few error scores? Another eight error score in six turns? Unlikely. Oh, industrialization. I should have changed off that. Let's go to ballistics. That will kick in in a moment as soon as we finish the workshops. So we overcooked that one a little. Okay, that scout has completely run out. It can come back now. Good thing it's a scout and not a galley or something. Fish. That helps with housing here. I'm going to go down to here and I'm going to build... Um, I'm going to take that tile and build on these luxuries. That's more fishing boats. Cyrus finished Great Zimbabwe and Saladin finished Hagia Sophia on the same turn. So come here. I'm going to buy that tile. I'm going to spend my money on something, right? Um, buy that one. Now we've got 11, and an extra luxury, which will help immensely. Three wonders completed. Hagia Sophia, St. Basil's Cathedral, and Zeke Great with Zimbabwe. Roxburgh needs housing. Okay. Head down here. You want to buy pearls? For gold. How about you give me... Some turtles. And some gold. Yeah. Probably best if we don't ask what happens to the turtles. A recent news article revealed that Persia is trading with Scotland. Yes, I am. Saladin denounces me because... My production is low? Yeah, I guess. I don't have a huge number of cities. Wow, look at this. Am I about to be attacked? I hope not. Uh, well, I'm about to be attacked by barbarians, so yeah. Um, let's kill barbarians. Oh, no. I killed myself. That's bad. Okay, uh, with our last settler, we've got four charges left, actually. Aberdeen needs more. We need to send some soldiers down here pronto, then. Yeah, I tried to shoot a musketman with a spearman. Post doesn't like us because we've got uh, Tarsus. Which they gave us, by the way. They... They gave it up. Your spearman attacked a muskman and died. Not surprising. Yeah, we'll take a, a take your embassy. Tarsus needs housing, so you need some you need some fields and some farms.
Great person, great scientist. Triggers chemistry and a random industrial error technology. Yes. I will take you. I'm going to put you into one of these places. Take it. Steam power. Well, hey. And chemistry. Great person. Don't care about those wonders. Not long now. I need to get this settler up and get him over here. Before Scythia tries to resettle it. I'll still keep open borders with Scythia. She can come and fight stuff. Renesis ends in one turn. We're not going to make it. We're going to have a normal age, which is fine. We discovered Jerusalem. Get inspiration for mercantilism. Why does that sound weird? They want us to discover money lending. Ha! Huh. What's this? Arabia no longer has enough loyalty to keep the city of Homs in their empire. Nearby civilizations exerting loyalty or using military force may still gain control of this free city. And we've got Eureka because we got all our workshops done. I think the human race made a big mistake. We've got industrialization, the industrial revolution, factory, we rural valley, the coal, production on mines. Yes. Many dispute the actual start of the industrial era, but you know it was when Scotland discovered the industrialization. Okay, we're going to put a cut in right here at the start of this new age, and maybe the start of some sort of attempt to to win over Homs to our side. But before we go, our Scottish culture section. Let's see if I can get this right. Um, Scottish culture section. Today we're talking about, hold on, um, Tartan, yes Tartan, this is Tartan, we have a couple of examples here, this red Tartan, um, now Tartan refers to the weave that makes this interesting crisscross pattern. Um, where these bands of colour intersect, horizontally and vertically, uh, where they intersect, you get these interesting lines. And you see they're sort of diagonal, like this. Um, and it looks as if they overlap. And that is, that is tartan weave. Um, some um, of you might be familiar with the term plaid. Um, that's just become a sort of generic name for stuff that looks kind of like this, but isn't necessarily tartan. Tartan is the weave of the wool. Uh, in Scotland, a plaid would be a sort of um, like a little a sash or cloak type item in, in made of tartan, but a plaid would be the item. I have some tartan here. Okay, this is a tartan kilt. This is mine. This is my tartan kilt. Uh, this is Cameron tartan. You can see it's similar to the one on the screen. Um, this is in green and uh, blue and red. And, and a plaid would sort of be worn. It would be a very, very thin thing. It would be more like a scarf. It would be worn around here. So there are a couple of different tartans. I have another one. This dark green one. And, and a purple one. There are many different designs. Contrary to what you may have been told or to popular belief, there is actually no law or actual restriction on wearing tartan. You can wear any tartan you want. Um, if you're in Scotland, though, and you are among people who know tartans, it might be considered poor taste, shall we say, to wear somebody else's tartan, you know, the tartan of another family. 
Because in, in, in actual Scotland, you would only ever wear the tartan of your family. Um, there is one tartan which is... Well, all families have their own tartan associated with them. Every Scottish surname and clan. There are some which have been um, created specifically for the public. For anybody to wear. Um, Black Watch is one. Uh, there are a number of others. And there are tartan artists who create new tartans. A friend of mine who got married um, got access to a tartan called North Sea Oil. It was an interesting grey, um, black and yellow one, which is very nice. So there's nothing to stop you from wearing any tartan you like. There is also one tartan called Balmoral Tartan, which is, shall we say, owned by the royal family of Britain. Uh, again, there's nothing to stop you buying it and wearing it, but anybody who recognises tartan would think that was in pretty poor taste. You're being a bit pretentious there, trying to wear that. Tartan was actually banned for a while um, by the British in an attempt to um, demoralise Scotland and stop it from reuniting um, many years ago, and then it was brought back again. But it is a, a very Scottish item, it is a very Scottish theme, and uh, you should just be aware that, uh, just on these pictures here, you can see on this one the weave goes in one direction, it goes sort of top left to bottom right. On this one, it's the same, it's tartan, it's just been rotated round, but it's that diagonal weave where now it goes top, top right to bottom left. That's the weave. That's tartan. So, that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to leave a comment, subscribe, like the video. Check me out on twitch.tv slash agathis. And I will see you. And hold on. Where are we? Take, get rid of that. I will see you in the next episode. I am Agathis. I am going offline. I will see you and Robert the Bruce next time.